welcome to my first students from Kapitya Graduate Junior College Physics Work Class 3 Now the topic is work power and energy Subtopic so scalar product Already discussed uh, Now we want scalar product What is the scalar product? The two vectors now We can write A vector dot B vector is equal to AB cos theta Okay now the dot product of the uh, dot product of cos product of both are same. The dot of the scalar product of the two vector is equal to the product of magnitude of two vector and uh, angle with angle cos theta between them. It is known as a scalar product. Now example this is a good example for for scalar product. It is a work work and potential energy also potential energy. Okay, now the properties already discussed the properties. Properties the first property it's omega commutative law that means a vector dot b vector that is equal to b vector dot of a vector. This property is known as commutative law. Okay. And the second property if the two vectors it is omega distributive law. Then a vector dot b vector plus c vector that is equal to we can write a vector dot b vector plus a vector dot c vector it is a distributive law. Third, if the two vectors are parallel to each other, then a vector and b vector these are parallel to each other. What about the angle between two vectors then theta is equal to zero from this formula a vector dot b vector that is equal to a b cos the theta means zero cos zero that is equal to one a vector dot b vector is equal to a b it is a third property and again when the two vectors are parallel to each other the dot product of the two vector is equal to the product of magnitude of two vectors and fourth property if the two vectors are perpendicular to each other perpendicular to each other then it is the b vector what about the angle between two vectors the theta is equal to how much here 90 degrees but cos 90 that is equal to 0 then the dot product of the two vector a b that is 0 a vector dot b vector is equal to 0 what happened when the two vectors are perpendicular to each other then the dot product of the two vector is equal to come to 0 if the vectors are opposite in direction it is the a vector and it is the b vector these are in opposite direction what about the angle between A and B? Then theta is equal to 180. But what the cost, what is the form the formula? The fifth property A vector dot B vector is equal to AB cos theta. But theta is equal to cos T 180 that is equal to minus 1. Then A vector dot B vector that is equal to cos theta cos 180 that is equal to 1 here the value is equal to 1 what is the 1 minus 1 it is the minus a p these are the properties of the scalar product already we have discussed but now it is important with the two vectors now we can write here it is x axis and y and z axis now it is unit vector along the axis is known as i and here say here k okay here i comma z and k or unit vectors unit vectors along on x axis i is the i y axis j z axis it is k then the dot product of the this vector now we can write this is the important formula now we can write same vectors the product of the same vector 
I dot I I dot I that is equal J dot J J dot J that is equal to K dot K K dot K that is equal to what important point I dot I or J dot J or K dot K that is equal to what and uh, I dot Z in opposite direction, opposite vector, the dot product of the uh, different uh, vectors that is equal to J dot K is a uh, different vector, see a different vector and K dot I is also different vector that is Z value equal to 0. Same vector dot product is 1 but uh, different dot product of the two vectors is equal to 0. It is an uh, important formula for the scatter product. Now for example, now for example, now we consider or oh, let us uh, a vector that is equal along the x-axis and y-axis a x i i a y z plus uh, a z k find b vector equal b x i plus b y z b y z plus b z k now we are the we consider a vector equal to a x i a y z a z k it is the one type of the vector along the x y z and the another vector b vector is b x i b y z plus b z k it is the another vector along the x y z now then the dot product of the two vectors so we can write a vector dot b vector that is equal to first of all write this total vector a x i plus a y z plus a z k Okay, dot, it is the dot, dot means dot product as scalar product, b vector, b x i plus b y z plus b z k. Okay, if we now from this statement, what is i dot i, j dot j, k dot k that is equal to 1. This sum of the product is multiplied total this product. Now, a x i, b x i. That is equal to 1. Similarly, ax here is equal to 0. That is equal to 0. Finally, we get to ax bx ax bx plus ay by ay by plus aj and bz. Is that z? It is a vector dot b vector. This is the formula. Okay. Now another one is a x i plus b y j by i dot j that is equal what zero. Another total another product of the different product of the two vectors is equal to zero. The same product of the uh, two, same dot product of the two vectors is equal to one. This is the formula. For example, one problem. Now if uh, a vector that is equal to i plus 3j plus 4k 2i vector plus 3j plus 4k and b vector equal to b vector equal to 3i plus 5j plus 7k now the two vector consider what is the vector a vector equal to y plus 3j plus 4k and b vector is equal to 3a plus 5j plus 7k. If for now, whatever the scalar product or dot product of the a vector and b vector, now we can write a vector dot b vector that is equal to a vector means here 2i 3j plus 4k. Okay, dot and b vector 3i plus 5j plus 7k. Okay. 
for now the dot product of the what is the formula now the same vector dot product of the same vector that is equal to 1 remaining one of the over product of the two vectors is become to 0 now 2i product of only 2i 3i 2 3 ja 6 i dot i that is equal to 1 plus plus 3j 5j 3 5 ja 15 j dot j that is equal to 1 similarly 4k 7k 4 7 ja 28 k dot k that is equal to 1 that is equal to 21 plus 28 that is equal to 49 then a vector then b vector that is equal to 49 this is the uh, some example for scalar product okay now discuss about two uh, Okay, children. Now already discussed uh, scalar product and properties and problematic of the scalar product. Now the discuss about what is the important or good example of scalar product for this uh, work. Work. What is the meaning of the work? It is the important image. The product of the force and displacement of the body is known as work. Now can that the work is equal to Force into displacement. Displacement. Once again, the work is good example for scalar product. What is the work? What means the product of force and displacement of a body is known as work. Now, the work is denoted by the force in the air force, but this product is the scalar product. The displacement is denoted by S. Then W is equal to Yes, these are vectors. Okay, then W is equal to dot is equal then therefore yes cos theta. F S cos theta. What is the multi term in C D? It is the scalar product. The theta means the angle between F and the four sided displacement. Now here it is the angle body. This direction is displacement. This direction is F. The angle between F and S is what is theta. Okay. One second. What is the work? The product of force and displacement of a body is known as work. Then W is equal to F into S. The vessel. It is the scalar product that F is cos theta. Theta is the angle between. The direction of force displacement and force is angle between theta. Okay, now, now what are units of the works? How we can write units? Okay, force is is a newton and displacement is also meter or joules in a SI or EM case. What are units? Neutral meter of joules or dyne into centimeter or x in CTS. In CTS, okay. Neutral meter joules in SA or in case dyne centimeter or x in CTS. If for now, the uh, compared to the Newton and the relationship between Newton and the dyne. 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5x important points 1 newton is equal to 10 to the power of 5x similarly the relation between what is the joules and the x 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power of 7x ok it is the work for now next is the most important conditions for conditions for the work done to be zero. The work done to be zero. It is the important topic. Conditions for the work done to be zero. What do you know the work done definition? What is the formula that work is equal to force into displacement? Simple. You can write the end of is equal to F S cos T. From this equation, now we can write what's the first condition? What is the condition? If the force on the force F equal to zero, 
that is y is equal to 0. What about then 0 in this force to that w is equal to 0. W equal to 0, the first condition. If f equal to 0, then the w equal to 0. Now, for example, now we can see that it is the one body. Here, no force after the body on the body. It is not displacement, no work, the number equal to 0. And the second condition, if S equal to 0, then the work could run also 0. Now we in the same body. Now we are applying the force on the body, it is not pressing. But the body is not motion, it is not displaced. Then the displacement equal 0, then the work could run also 0. Now the third condition, the angle between force and displacement, here the angle between force and displacement, then if theta equal to 90, theta equal 90, here now we are observed, it is the displacement, it is the force, the angle is equal to how much of theta is equal to 90. From this from the cos 90, what is the cos 90 that is equal to 0, to the 0, then W is equal to 0. Now, it is one body. Now, pressing, if I observe this, the number of pressing here, this force direction, that is the displacement direction, these are perpendicular to each other. Whatever the angle between the theta is equal to how much? 90. Then the force and if the theta is equal to 90, which is the angle? The angle between force and displacement that is equal to 90. Then if theta is equal to 90, then the work done 0. Then cos 91 is equal to 0 from this formula. These are conditions for what is the work done to be 0. And the, the, the work done is a force to maybe or force to or many to. Both are dependent on direction of the force and the displacement. If the force and direct force direction and displacement direction, these are vector actually. These are same direction, these have same direction, then theta is equal to 0. Then W is equal to what is the formula? Fs is equal to W is equal to Fs cos theta. Then theta is equal to zero. W is equal to Fs. It is the positive work. It is the best condition. The, the work is positive or negative. Both are dependent direction of the force and displacement. When the force and displacement are same direction, that means these are parallel to each other. So whatever the angle between force and displacement that is equal to theta equals zero. From the form, the W is equal to Fs cos theta, cos theta is equal to 0, cos 0 that is equal to 1, then W is equal to Fs, which is the positive. But these are in opposite direction, which are force and displacement. Now here, it is the displacement, it is the force direction. These are in opposite direction. The angle between force and displacement is theta is equal to 180. Opposite means that is equal to 180. From this formula, then cos 180 that is equal to much minus 1. Then W is equal to Fs cos 180. But 1000 is equal to 1. Then W is equal to minus Fc. The work done is not as the negative work. So, any positive work and negative work is depends on directions of the force and displacement. It is positive, it is a negative. Okay, it is the negative. Thank you.